Africans are contributing tremendously to this country's economy, to this country's uh, 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 development. And many of us who have left our home countries, we are here now. We have brothers, we have sisters, we have children in this country. So when somebody asks me, where are you from? It doesn't matter anymore. What is important is which direction I'm going. We are willing and able to die for this country because there are Africans in the army who are dying for the, for the defense of civil liberties of this country. Africans have a stake in this country. They vote, they pay taxes, they work here, they have children here. We are a part of America. When you are here, claim this country. Study hard, work hard. Never forget where you came from. Always look at where you're going. Okay, and for the record, where are you from originally? I'm from Sierra Leone, West Africa originally. But I've lived here most of my adult life. The commissioner has supported me, has given me the encouragement, have given me the support to be able to be an advocate for our communities, and that is very, very important. So how can people access your office? Is there a website, a phone line? Maybe oh yeah, you call the police department. My name is Sadiq Y. If you want to reach me, you can call me and the police, de uh, in the commissioner's office. We in the New York City Police Department have made it a priority to reach out to our newest communities through our new immigrant unit. We want you to know that the police department is there to protect you, to support you, and we do that in a variety of ways. We have facilitated elections here from, for people from Guinea, from, for people from Benin, from Cote d'Ivoire. City Police Department is not an immigration enforcement arm. We want to know if you or your families or neighbors are victims of crime, we want to know about it. We want to know about it and we want you to know that you don't run the risk of being uh, involved with immigration issues if in fact you come forward to us. As a community member and as the ambassador of the world to Africa, one United States of Africa is what we are promoting in Harlem, that we all become one mother Africa. The greatest crime ever committed against Africa has been the slave trade of Africans, displaced from the continent of mother Africa. We want to see a change with women. The first thing that we must deal with with women in Africa and around the world is the violence against women and also partnership with women. This year, in March of next year, we will take up the issue of all form of violence against women. Women in the United States represent more than 50% of the population, and women are more than 50% in the world. So we must take our rightful place, not only in our country, our member state, but also at the United Nations. I used to advocate Barack Obama before he became the president when he was a senator, the only black senator that we had. And what I raised to him is to deal with the issue of reparations. Reparation must be on his tongue as the second term as president. We know that only certain things that he's able to do. But don't forget your own time. Everything starts at home. Every head of state that takes up leadership always starts in their own home, in their own village, and on, in their own place. His first duty must be about the children, the youth, killing themselves. Because as they kill their own seed, then what are we talking about in terms of children in the streets of Harlem and around the world, soldier children? So we have to address that issue as the foremost issue for the culture of peace within our community and to sustain our community. Please say your name. Kareem. And where are you from? Cameroon. And you? Sandrine, Cameroon. Okay, and you? This is Fatim and I'm from Guinea. Okay, what does this day mean for you? Well, I'm really proud to be um, part of this parade because I felt African, even though my dad is French, I felt African too, so I'm really proud to be here today and represent my country. This day, oh my God, I've worked so hard to actually see it here. 
Um, it's just a matter of bridging the gap with our African-American sisters who feel that we're different people when really we're the same. So a day like this allows them to come and get to know our culture, their culture, and get involved. So just like Fatim said, I'm so proud to be here. And this is, we need to see more of these days. Like. Okay, why did you come here? Just to see my people. <laughs> my name is Fatu, I'm from Gambia. This is a big day for me because we have the African parents in the United States. It means a lot. What's your name? Rakita. And where are you from? Guinea, Conakry. I feel very honored and blessed to have rode the bus from Charlotte, North Carolina. My name is Tommy Germain, and I'm from Cameroon. Okay, why did you come here today? Wow, well, anyway, uh, I don't live here, I live in Brazil. I'm here for a program, and then uh, my friends invited me to come over for the African Day. I said, wow, it's a great idea. Since I'm from Africa, I'm from Cameroon, so I said, wow, why not join and have, a, have fun together, celebrate African Day. It's wonderful, marvelous. Okay, do you always dress like this? Yeah, back home, because uh, my family, from, I'm from the royal family in Cameroon, so this is uh, like a traditional wear. We use it every day in the royal family. Where did you conceive this idea to bring Africans together for a parade like this? This is a dream. Uh, this is started um, six years ago. This is a six annual African Day Parade. But uh, before that, we have to go a long way uh, to get the permit. So it was a three years of fight with the city of New York and the police department to get the permit. So finally, in 2007, we got the permit and we were able to do the first African Day Parade. We have to keep pushing for the unity of Africa. So Africa will get together. Africa will be united. And that's my fight. What country are you from exactly? I was born in Cote d'Ivoire, but I'm from Africa. Thank you. Now tell me, if you have to plan this again for the next year, what do you wish to see? Because I see that you have uh, sponsors like Brussels Air, who came here and donated free airline tickets to some winners. Who? What do you want to see from other African countries to help you make this event even bigger than what it is now? This is a time to say thank you to my staff that donate money to put this event together. They donate the money, they donate the time. Um, I'm very uh, disappointed in some company. Western Union, MoneyGrams, all the companies that are doing uh, well in Africa, getting money from Africans to send overseas. They can even support the unity of Africa that is disapp disappointed. And I will say to the MoneyGram people and Western Union people that we African people, we are getting together. If they don't support the unity of Africa, we're not going to support them. This is for our children. They have to have something to say, I'm proud to be African. When we're working on sponsorship, we are opening it to small and big sponsors. Now, Brussels, Air Brussels reach out to us, actually. We, we are reaching out to Air Morocco because we believe that it's, you know, Air Morocco as, at least is an African airline. Now, some of the sponsors, it depends on what, is in, what they have to offer. Okay, Western Union, I know in the past we do have, you know, uh, some, 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 some sponsorship from them, but we tried and it didn't go through. I was directly involved with that. Every African, every nation we represent, and we're so honored, and the most important of which, of course, is the African American community as well. And so, we are privileged to be able to work with all these communities to spread the culture, to spread the unity, and to make sure that in 44 days, as many of us go out and vote for Barack Obama.